Somebody broke in and trashed the house. Christy thought it was a ghost. I know you guys are freaked out, okay? And I'm going to take care of you guys. I think this is a really great sequel. If you like seeing more dishes being thrown on the floor, <laughs> you know, it's actually it's a, it's a prequel that turns into a sequel. It, t- it turns into a sequel. Yeah. Well, it turns to some old nonsense is what it turns into. I, okay. I thought it was a sequel to uh, Precious only because I saw that that uh, saucepan fly across the screen. And, oh, <laughs> man, it was Precious Part 2. I, I, oh, until I saw the actual title. I thought it was just a remake. <laughs> it seemed like the same fucking movie to me, except maybe the main characters are a little less irritating. Well, yeah, like I said, you get 50% more cabinet doors slamming shut and opening again. I mean, it's I, this is, uh, I, I don't know. I would say that this is probably, I was with it for a little while. Because I like these kind of movies where, all right, you know, they make really ordinary life seem creepy. They don't use a lot of special effects. It all takes place in a suburban home. It's surrounded by people. So, you know, it's not exactly like you're alone, but you can still be in danger. And then I, the more I watch this, I was like, yeah, but when they make a story about the creepiness of ordinary life, you also have to watch a lot of ordinary people do a lot of ordinary dull things for a long time. I know you are you are literally the fly on the wall and a lot of times that just isn't all that entertaining. Yeah, that's four forty five minutes of absolutely nothing happening, just suburban day to day life. You know what? And I didn't even mind that so much. Because I mean, I mean, I know like for you guys, you're probably going like, man, this this one sucked compared to the first one. And I watched this one, I'm like, well, this is everything I saw in the first one, except I kind of like these characters better. I mean, this this yeah. family, like the actors in it are are better, at least at, at ad lib and seeming like a, a real family. I was kind of interested in what they had going on, their their whole dynamic, and then they bring in the supernatural, but yeah. they don't just drop it in and let you enjoy yeah. it. It's a little bit here. You watch a long scene at night. Waiting for a chair to move an inch. Well, and have the audience go, oh, I get right. that, though. I really do. I understand why the audience is responding to that. I mean, have you, when you were a kid, do you ever remember being those times when you were totally alone in the big empty house? And all of a sudden it struck you how goddamn quiet it's yeah. been in this house. It's just so <laughs> quiet. And you start to get fucking freaked out. And you're like, oh, there's nothing to get freaked out. There's nothing to get freaked out. And then maybe the dog moved. And you're like, oh. Uh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. no. It's a whole movie based on that sort of fear. Well, Absolutely well, right. Which, well, is, which is very effective on me when I was six years old. Well, yeah. I, think, you know, I think that's what works with a movie like that. I think the, as far as it being like uh, shot just with just a video camera, uh, I think these type of haunted house movies work a lot more more effectively than the big Hollywood ones because we're so desensitized and those movies have become so cliche that yeah, it is. It, it's a lot more interesting and there's a lot more atmosphere when you just see. A quiet room, and then all of a sudden you see a chair like get knocked over, or you see like cabinet doors open. You mean the last movie to really do that effectively was Poltergeist. It was, it was, well, yeah, that's and, true. And that was more like that Hollywood type movie. But this is this is almost that formula where you're like, hey, this is a happy family. This is what they do, suburbia, whatever. Wait, okay, now there's some weird things going on. It's kind of a joke at first. You kind of laugh about it. And you know, the, like I, I love that the dad does not believe it. He's like, which the yeah. dad is the, the which, dad is which, us. Which yeah. is actually the dad's job is to go like, hey, you bitches, not yeah, oh, you yeah. need to calm down. Well, before we get into, yeah, we're describing some of the characters here. So anybody who remembers the last Paranormal Activity, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong. It's been what the movie came out in 2007. It's been two years since we've seen it. We Has it been two years? No, I thought yeah, it was only. Well, was it 2009 or was it? Was I think it's 2009. Was, was I think it's 2009. Okay, I, it probably yeah. takes them 15 minutes to make one of these movies. Yeah, when you watch, yeah. You're like, man, I feel stupid for not making this movie myself. Yeah, I yeah. thought it was like two years ago that fact, we saw it. No, it's a year. Let's screw this recording and just go make Paranormal Activity 3. <laughs> oh, we can probably finish it up before the evening. It's yeah, fun, right? And we can and we'd be rich we, before we get done with this review. Wait a minute. No, let me see how much change I can dig from this couch right here. We can go out and make a movie. <laughs> we'll make it back. Don't worry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but not so. Well, in that last movie, it was a, uh, a couple, a young couple, Katie and Micah, right? Uh, yeah. yeah. yeah and a which, which is their names, uh, Katie Featherstone and Micah Sloat, Sloan or something. Yeah, because Slow, they wanted to slow, yeah. they wanted to at least toy with the possibility that someone would be dumb enough to think this was a real story for two seconds. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. And then, you know, Micah gets a new camera. He's fucking around with it. And, you know, just lo and behold, happens to catch some paranormal activity happening. And, uh, you know, it leads up. I don't want to ruin the ending for anybody, but it leads up to somebody dying and somebody disappearing. And the police who find the tape they're thinking like well you know this there's a reasonable explanation for this but we the audience knows that a demon was involved well this demon ain't fucking stopped yet i mean what well, actually we get the origin of what's going on here we this is a, a prequel for most of the movie where we start out with what we think is an entirely new family but as we learn they are related the sister of the girl uh, the, the, the uh, mom of, is the uh, sister yeah. 
Uh, yeah, it, it's a it's a family yeah. of a dad, his uh, his new wife, their new baby, and the dad's daughter, and the dog, and the dog, and, 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 and the demon. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah the, the, the other cool actor. One big happy family, <laughs> and of course we cannot forget. Uh, the the Spanish maid oh, who oh, apparently oh, is a oh. exer, ex, expert in demons and exorcisms and things like that like you know all that Spanish album? maids yeah are. don't you know that stuff? that's like yeah you, had, you, you, Wikipedia just Spanish maid and, and that's the yeah, you, you'll see that they are they, they they are all knowing as far as any kind of uh, cuckoo or you know any, any kind <laughs> it's of like I ain't, a, I ain't afraid of no ghost essay exactly. yeah, yeah, that's, that's true Ghostbusters yeah, yeah, exactly <laughs> yeah um, who are you gonna call uh, Mexican maid <laughs> <laughs> come in and bring, do yeah. some Santoria. I'm, yeah. I'm, this, I'm calling Anita. The, yeah. This house is clean. <laughs> <laughs> Completely, yes. Yeah. Speak and span of dirt, dust, and ghosts. <laughs> A lot of but, refried beans, too. <laughs> <laughs> but this family, they, the uh, the mom is family is related to uh, uh, Katie from the last movie. It's, it's their it, sister. It, yes, they're sisters. And in this house, uh, yeah, there's some strange activity happening. And you're right, Liam. And it's, it's funny because the... Just the dad alone. They don't. Then, as of right now, I can't find any listing for these actors. I don't know who they are, so I don't give any names. But whoever this actor is, play real people. <laughs> and what yeah. we saw was a real, yeah. was real <laughs> footage. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. No, no, <laughs> fuck, fuck around. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Didn't you see the beginning? Paramount would like to thank the family of the deceased victims in this film <laughs> <laughs> for, for lending, this, for lending this footage to us <laughs> and profiting off it. <laughs> <this. laughs> but you know, there are people out there who have doubt who will yeah, be like, I don't know. know. It's, it's based on a real story. Did you see that thing? In the beginning, and you know that <laughs> that Spanish maid, uh, yeah. Spanish. And you know the family probably would be like, "This is insensitive of you to come and ask us for this tape of our deceased role. How much is it <laughs> for less than Here's a million the dollars?" Top, the last movie yeah, how much do we get? <laughs> okay, you take take everything. You know, I, the I, story I, needs to be told. I think you know. I mean, this is. I mean, it's kind of a prequel. It's kind of it's prequel and it's overlapping. The other movie, it's yeah. just we're watching their story going on. So, and it's you know like the last movie, it made clear like something happened in Katie's past when she was a little girl had to do with ghosts or demons or something. They don't really know or go into Very it. Vague. Something to do with pictures from her past keep showing up that were supposedly destroyed in a fire. Yeah, so in this movie, as, when as, her, as, the girl is as a little girl. Yeah. So the demon is a pedophile. <laughs> <laughs> well, early on in the film, there's a point where it's like, uh oh, because she's like, oh, that's a picture of my sister, which is a little girl. That's weird. I thought I didn't even know we had any of those anymore you're like okay well now you see where this is going and the point of this film is to provide a tiny bit more of that mythology of what happened sure. story. A, a, really the tiniest little bit and and you know that would be okay i was like okay i'm kind of with you on that that's interesting but it's such a cop out the way it decides to transfer the stories together or not transfer but to combine them together i thought it was like i mean as much as i hated the last two seconds of the last film i really hated the whole last five minutes of this one well this one i you know it's it, it's in the beginning it it really is a lot funnier than the last movie oh, yeah. and it is it's like been, i said it's enjoyable yeah, yeah. so much like more said, pleasant people to watch well it's because of that dad that dad is joking around and maybe it's just me i relate to him because when everybody's saying uh dad uh honey uh they, there's something going on in his house and he's just like you know well y'all cut it out with this ghost shit and, and even there's a point where he takes advantage of it to play practical jokes on the family <laughs> yeah. which and is what he, i would do it's <laughs> exactly a, it's a, he's an everyday guy he is all he's any guy that we know i mean that's how we're gonna react and especially when people want to blow things up where okay you, you gotta you gotta your wife is freaking out because she can't explain so she's gonna immediately gravitate to ghosts you're like okay you know what I don't want to be seen around a crazy ass woman. It, it, yeah. Exactly. Just yeah. Calm that shit down. As they said in the movie, yeah. straight to ghost. Exactly. <laughs> and, uh, that was the exact yeah. line. A, a pot fell. She went straight oh, to ghost. Right. It's, and, it's, 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 it, the pot fell because a ghost knocked it down, not because you don't know what the fuck you're doing. Yeah, exactly. Because <laughs> because you don't have the aptitude to hang a pan back on a hook. Well, what well, I love is there's movie. a point to like, what about the pole cleaner? It keeps coming out at night. Where do you think that's coming from? And then he shows her, and she's like. I don't appreciate you not supporting me. And you're like, what are you talking about? He just showed that you were well, bullshit. I had to roll my eyes at both of them because, I mean, you know, at first you're rolling your eyes at the girls in the family because, yeah, they're, they're talking about ghosts. And even though we know it's ghosts, our reaction, of course, too, would be like, you know, this, that, no, there's a reasonable explanation for, the, explanation for this. But when they start showing the dad, like, stuff that cannot be explained, he's still joking around. Yeah. Yeah. No, there's a point oh, that you I, go, I would too. a skeptic or not, there's a point when you see some shit and you're like, I know I'm white, but I'm still even yeah. that's just ridiculous why would you stay in that house well, after that well, shit well, happened well, it's, it's plus like when the when the, his wife gets i don't know possessed or whatever is happening yeah. to her um don't spoil it no. 
God damn it, would you let me talk? <laughs> it's too late. He already did. <laughs> he doesn't understand the concept, no, I think, is what it's a ghost and I, Oh, you just talked about the pool cleaner, but I'm spoiling shit. Yes. <laughs> the pool cleaner's in the first 20 minutes. That was like an hour there and a half a into the film. Whether you think it's a ghost or not, well, you would be like, okay, I don't know what this is, but this bitch is crazy, and I'm going to tie her up with a belt. Yeah, and, and then beat her with a sack of oranges. <laughs> but, but no, you know, in the last movie, I... Th- the uh, especially Michael with the camera. I mean, he was annoying. And even though we knew the, that Katie was probably going through some sort of possessions or whatever, it, 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 she oh, still PMS. came. Uh, uh, yeah, we were like, she's still yeah. coming across like you know a crazy girlfriend. Yeah, and, she's just a bipolar. Yeah, you know, well, even here. I mean, they they just have a new baby, so the, the, it could easily be explained the wife is having postpartum depression. Yeah, yeah. Well, except that there's er, even early on there's some stuff that happens on security camera. That you're like, okay, there is no rational explanation for that. There's nothing. The planet Venus could not have done that. A weather balloon could not have done that. Swamp gas could not have done that. There's just uh, nothing could have done that except for, you know, you have to go like with Sherlock Holmes. When you run out of scientific and rational explanations, then you have to go to the irrational yeah, explanation. Well, it's, yeah, it's going, what, I mean, the, 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 the pool cleaner just hops out of the water and just starts walking down the street on his own, you know. <laughs> you know have, he, 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 yeah. a, a straw hat and a cane. Yeah, yeah. Little dance. He held a cab, went over to McDonald's, got something to eat, came on back to the pool and the dad's looking at it well, like, well, it's just feisty. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I thought they were doing like a homage to Star Wars because the way that pool cleaner just got yeah. up, it, it started moving away. It reminded me of R2 and on Tatooine. It was like, I was waiting for that goofy music. Dun. Are <laughs> yeah. you expecting that pool cleaner to do things like? <laughs> Why is the pool cleaner going? It keeps saying it's got to find that crazy old man in the desert. <laughs> yeah. Why is the pool cleaner just quit? Like, exactly. Man, crazy you, I mean, you're looking at it and you're like, "Why is the pool cleaner coming back with dead homeless people?" <laughs> yeah, that is something crazy. All oh, that homeless guy is just drunk. <laughs> you know, but you know, the fact, never, nevertheless, I mean, they, they, these kind of things could make so easily make this family annoying. And I actually thought. That they worked too well as, as a family. They joked around as a family. I like being around them. I mean, I, I thought the they were, I thought they were was funny. really good. Oh yeah, 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 she was. Yeah, the the uh, the whole family dynamic. It really did work. I mean, that that's the one plus about this film. But you know, I I, I was thinking like how more effective would this film, you know, well how this film could have been if it was the first film. Like, I, you if know it what? Was actually, the first. That's film. What I thought, would I enjoy oh, that's a, a good whole, point. Yeah, would I enjoy it way more? Than that, than, than the first paranormal activity, and I think probably I, I may I probably would. But that's the problem. Like the problem is, is that okay? You're right. Absolutely, this is the better film of the two films. I have no question about that for all the reasons we've listed. But you can't do that. You can't say to someone just watch this one because the ending relies on you having seen the first <laughs> one, and it's like okay, well, wow. So that whole first movie is pretty much just a a pre. You know, that's the, you've yeah. got to sit. You know what? That. I, I, so I, I think you I disagree though. Yeah, I think you the, could watch yeah. this one. I just don't think. Would happen because you'd be like, well, wait, what happened? Well, Where they did explain. That? I mean, they do thoroughly yeah. explain like how you know how to solve the the, the problem. So it's like I really don't think you really need to yeah, watch but that. I, first. I, I don't know. Without seeing the first one, that end just even even with those slight clues, that end just kind of comes out of nowhere. Yeah. Well, you know, like, what? if you haven't seen the the first, you one. know, when I when I first started watching this film, I, I at first I thought, okay, I guess maybe this isn't a sequel because this is a whole new family, and I almost didn't even recognize the girl who played Katie Same until here. she was in the pool and I saw those. Double D entity, <laughs> yeah, exactly. you know, around. that she had. Where I'm like, oh, this is the chick, and then and then like when the camera moved, you Did finally you know how to, saw how to her boyfriend, like, and it, and and, and the, even the director had to go. This is Michael from the first movie, in case you <laughs> yeah. forgot, because he looks like every other motherfucker on the street. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But you can't miss her. <laughs> well, well, no, no, I, I, not them. Notice how the camera like oh, stayed yeah. on her tits the whole oh, yeah. time. And, yeah. and how she was wearing like really low cut everything. I mean, yeah. her breasts were. Yeah, like, I, I think th- that, that was another movie, star in the movie. Yeah, and say like, oh, okay, this well, is the star of this movie. Well, an important point in this movie is that early on, when they start to experience weird things going on in the home, they think it's a series of break-ins, so they get. A, a security company come in and put cameras all around the house and that's the gimmick that we get to where we get to see all the quiet times in the home and <clears throat> it's uh you st- i mean some of those things are cool because it does uh, build up the creepiness of the movie when you watch things happening in the, in the in the middle of the night and you just see a shift in something but after a while 
I feel like you could probably go to a Seven Eleven, look at the security monitor there, <laughs> and yeah. kind of see the same thing. Well, you know, like how in the first glitches for all you know. In the yeah. first movie, yeah. there's a lot of the whole suddenly it's sped up so we can see shit happening because we yeah. don't want to sit here for six hours waiting for something <laughs> to happen. <laughs> and it, you just felt like you need your own remote for this movie because ninety percent of it is that you're just like, will you please fast forward the tape already and make it so we can get to what happened? Yeah. Well, hey, even the filmmakers do that several times in this film. Yeah. It really doesn't. It really doesn't, you know, lend itself to any kind of payoff because, you know, as soon as you start seeing that camera fast forward, I mean, they did it effectively in the first film to where it caught you up to speed and it it really moved that story forward. Where this, you're like, okay, this must be the end because when you start seeing that counter go up, some shit's about to hit the fan. Exactly. And then, and then you're kind of disappointed because it's like, oh, yeah. No, not, that was it. We yeah. still have and, to, and well, in the well, first yeah. film, it served a purpose because they wanted to express like the whole sequence where she, you know the girl was just standing beside the bed for like. Eight hours, and you're like, okay. I mean, yeah. that is kind of creepy. You're like, and you can't obviously watch get that same effect if you just cut away. And here, it was just like, oh yeah, remember when we did this right. last and one? But even so, I wanted to do it through large portions of the movie <laughs> just because. Okay, I get it. Nothing is gonna fucking happen for another half hour. It's just building well, up the whole. Wow, nothing's happened yet, but something's going to. I think what this keeps coming back around to is the fact that the first one had the gimmick. And then this one is just reusing the same gimmick, so it doesn't work. It's like it's just it just can't be as effective. Well, that's that, yeah. It's like wow, I haven't seen this before. It's like well, I saw this just a year ago. And, You're not doing anything new with it. And so that's the biggest problem is that it's essentially a remake. It's an improved yeah. film in some ways, but it doesn't matter well, because we've already seen it. Well, it's a remake, and let, you know, let's face it, this movie cost about twenty dollars to make. I, we were yeah. joking about this before, and we'd say, "Well, the first one was cost ten. Yeah, so they, <laughs> this one yeah, and, and we were talking about like, Double yeah, you know bunch. what? Uh, Coles was saying, "Man, this movie's gonna make us money back." And I was joking with y'all, saying, "Well, it's shit. They found a twenty dollar bill in the corner. This, you know, movie, <laughs> got, the movie instantly made some profit." Yeah. Yeah, and the no, producer, producer goes into a screening room and goes, "Like, okay, check. If anybody left their wallet, we we made our money. <laughs> we got our money. Yeah. <laughs> check the floor. You well, know, come on, they'd be able to afford it. Take about twenty bucks. Right? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but now." It's like they went and oh they 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 spent some extra money on this one they they bought about fifty percent more fish and wire <laughs> so that they could like attach into stuff and make things move. They're able I mean, to buy two more pans, two more pans <laughs> and knock it over. I mean, really, I, I'm looking at this for most of the movie and I'm thinking to myself, well, okay, I'm enjoying this family, but as far as the supernatural stuff. Uh, this is the laziest fucking demon I've ever seen. This is, this, That's what I kept thinking. This demon time. just sits on a table and just reads a book and just every now and then will shove something over and then, yeah. you or know, just, later just yeah. close the door and, and, and then wait to the end to do everything. I'm like, man, you are not a, a goal oriented demon no, at all. It's, it's not, not it's really almost, evil. Yeah. He's just kind of a dick. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> he, just, he just hates kitchen appliances. Yeah. You know? <laughs> but uh, maybe he's mad because he can't cook. Yeah. He really does pretty much hang out in the kitchen the whole time. He's, he's just like, he must be a big fat demon. You're just getting pissed off because you couldn't find the fucking pop tarts. I mean, I like, <laughs> <laughs> I've seen you like that. <laughs> God, the fuck is God, no, he's like, who's moving this shit? Is it you? Who? <laughs> What's all this fucking hell cereal shit? Get some goddamn cocoa puffs in there. Where my hot pockets? <laughs> and you know, I mean, you're looking at it. It's like, yeah. Is it after a while, you, the, the demon decides to like, oh, okay. I guess I'll get up and drag a body down the hall, or, or make the baby float. You know, uh, okay, y'all, I'm still here. You know. Don't that forget he even decides to grab that mother and go, you're going to fucking show me where those fucking Pop-Tarts are fucking... <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, we're going down the stairs. Oh, God, my yeah. yeah. And, you know, and it's yeah. things like that, that that really got on my nerves. And this is what really bothered me about the movie. We've seen, not only is are a lot of the gimmicks in this film repeated from the first movie, but it's also beginning to do what a lot of people are getting really impatient with with the found footage type movie uh we you know we have really obligatory scenes like what movies have we not seen with this sort of documentary found footage feel where film where uh people go into a dark room and they have to switch to the infrared oh yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah that didn't, or, or the that, night that, or the that, night that, vision that, yeah the night vision and yeah that, that whole scene yeah. that didn't work for me at all because i'm like look your your child's in danger you're not gonna be fucking around with a camera with night vision you're gonna be finding mm. a flashlight or a yeah. candle or something yeah and, and then the whole thing is just from that angle so it's a lot of shaking around i guess it's supposed to scare you like oh you're there you really can't see what's happening but i'm like no i'm still the audience yeah. i can't tell what's going on i'm just gonna unplug and wait 
until you show me the end. No, the they, they 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 were pretty much. I mean, I thought that was just a blatant rip off of Wreck. I mean, honestly, yeah, I, I, did, watching, I did too. Uh, all I thought it going going through my. And it wasn't head, even like, close to as scary. Someone saw mm-hmm. Wreck, and yeah, they just figured, well, this is effective. We'll use it in this. In the this last the big problem for me was that like before the climax, there was a really genuinely scary bit where you're first like you go from well maybe the ghost is just fucking around to <laughs> oh no this ghost means business yes. and you're like okay that was a really fucked up scary sequence but then you finally get to the big climax and it was like wow that was totally lame as hell that yeah. was like wait what happened you don't even get to see what happened well they're it, like well you can kind of hear it going on and you see some shit yeah. vibrating Man, well the thing is not spoiling anything well, the you thing don't is, understand how this works <laughs> do you at all you just don't get it you just tell people that when they get to the end they can't see what happened yeah and then i didn't say a thing about what actually happened did i <laughs> well the thing is, okay <laughs> you, do, you just don't understand like all right i know i ain't gonna be able to see it I guess I gotta make well look you uh, just don't understand the, man, you, you you were talking to the spoiler all right he, i know he you know it's, it's like that villain who turned evil by having like waste dumped on him and his mind became corrupted <laughs> exactly. he does not know right from wrong now he's the psychotic of spoiling shit <laughs> he's a sociopath only with spoilers <laughs> yeah. Lex Luthor doesn't see a psychiatrist then, right? right when he walks out of the office you, you guys are the psychotic <laughs> <laughs> okay, so in the second scene, oh, dude, you just spoiled the movie. Wait, what? <laughs> See, that's what I'm saying. You don't, I don't know who was in it. By the so way, I'm, I'm just fucking with you. I'll pull myself out this argument. <laughs> okay, now, well, as far as like you know, the, the, the ending, that's the biggest problem because it is a prequel. We know the series of events that are immediately going to happen right after. And that's you know that's where when, when you're watching the movie, you're already working the logic to how like okay, if this is happening to this family right now before the events take place from the first one, how do the people in the original not know what was going on to begin with, you know, if they're related to the same family? And, you know, it's like... It, well, they it, did explain yeah. that. They, they, they said yeah. that... Well, they no, they do explain it, but still, it, it does kind of... It, it still kind of ruins the, the ending. Well, the ending for me, the biggest problem for the ending in this movie, for me, and I think it's a huge problem, is that in the, in the first movie, whatever happened at the end really caught you off guard. It went by briefly. Mm-hmm. They show us a little bit too much here. I mean, it's drawn out. It it almost turns into like a karate film. Well, it, it, yeah, it was <laughs> and it was a real change in tone. They, yeah, they show us else they too. show us way too much in order to make it scary. Like it the last laughable. movie. Yeah, it was laughable. In the last movie, I mean, when when something happens and it's like a split second, you're like, what the fuck? And it go, and it's gone. This, I mean, this is like stealth. <laughs> you yeah, know, no, we're watching a is. demon creeping around, and mm-hmm. it's like, nah, this is it, it, it you lost, really it, ruined any kind of creepiness that that you could have had here by showing way too much. It lost its legs, and yeah, and and it kind of loses the whole uh, the whole idea of just be, being a, a haunted house film. I mean, it, it turns into something else. And by the end, you're wondering, okay, well, what do, where do they plan on going with this next? The only thing without that, ruining the ruining the whole gimmick of you know this is a haunted house film with a video camera in, in, inside the house. The only thing they could do next, and it seems to me, you know, it's probably what's going to happen is do the documentary trick. Oh well, this shit, all the shit's going on, and the maid is saying the shit happened, and all this stuff. So we're sending in a documentary team to find out what happened. <laughs> <laughs> a parapsychologist, and so, you know, it'll be ghost hunters. The movie, right, no. uh, I guarantee. Or, 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 with, with, with Billy Ray Cyrus. Oh, yeah, with or, Billy Ray Cyrus. Or they'll finally do a Blair Witch 2 and, you know, just actually just turn it into a, a real... And do it right. A real cliche film. A real, yeah. a real shitty horror yeah, movie. A real shitty yeah. Movie. Yeah. I actually hope that. Oh, year. I know what you're saying. Like they'll actually oh, make yeah. a real, yeah, a real, right. real movie, not a documentary. Oh, yeah, a real film. Yeah. I actually hope the next movie is just like it's the post-apocalyptic and the demons have wiped out most of civilization, <laughs> and it's just the Mexican maid, like all in leather and her bike with a bunch of crucifixes in her. In her side. <laughs> 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 with Jesus face exactly. Now, all I have to say is like white people. If you have a Mexican maid uh, and she starts using like her her. Yeah. Uh, Cuckoo <laughs> repellent. Oh yeah, uh, you know that 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 means you need to fucking listen up. All right, don't don't try to pull this shit. Don't go firing her. You know? I, I know. I mean, yeah, I mean, I was like, I mean. It, it, you, you now who's fucking, spoiling you, you, things? You, you need the, <laughs> she was trying to help, to be yeah. fair. No, yeah. She was trying to help. I think she should just make a, a the next sequel a comedy. Make it and have the demons, they moved into the neighborhood. They, <laughs> they got the people out, they've taken over the house, you know. Just end it with the Benny Hill theme and them <laughs> running back and forth. Ghost Dead Part 2? Yeah. My neighbor is the demons. You know, I... I know uh, it sounds like I'm probably giving this movie, I'm leaning towards giving it bullshit, but I really did. I mean, I, <laughs> and I didn't enjoy this movie as a horror movie. I enjoyed it as a comedy. Me too. I watched the first, you know, hour of this movie and really laughed hard at what was going on. And it made up for whatever I did not like about the horror aspect of it, which is bad because that's what the whole purpose of the film is. Yeah. But, you know, I mean, look, and even, 
I do think that if you watch it at home by yourself, uh, there are moments where if you watch with the lights out, you'll get creeped out. Uh, somebody like me, I probably will not as much because this is full of cheap scares. Almost everything is a, is is a, is a bump boost type of scare, and that's not me. But hey, look, if you're if 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 you're skittish and you want to be scared by this. Rent it. You'll have a good time watching it at home in the dark. It's even creepier by yourself. So that's my rating, a rental. Uh, well, yeah, you bring up the the jump scares, and it was way too many. Like, there's just way too much of it. Like, I was enjoying our stuff with the family and, and laughing, just like you said, and like and thinking to myself, you know, what? you know what? I'm still digging this way better than the first one. Um, but when we get to the parts with the video camera, it was all about watching the screen, waiting for something to happen. A chair moved. Okay, now we're back to the next scene, and it's like I got old after a while. Almost like a at first, I mean, mm-hmm. it was it was like odd. Then it was funny. Then it was just like, all right, I'm just getting tired of this. Um, yeah, and and that bit at the end was was just incredibly lame. But at the same time, the first movie for me was a fuck you. This one is just a low rental. Okay. Uh, you know, if, if you ever seen those videos on the internet where it's like, oh, you have to stare real closely at this picture mm-hmm. to see the hidden thing in it, and so you stare at it for like a minute, and you're like, God, I don't see anything, and then suddenly the big horror face goes, Wah! and you're like, oh, if you think that's like the highest point of our culture, then you should totally see this movie. <laughs> that's exactly what. Don't the, worry, they're that's, coming out. Because that's, that's what the type of scares are that are here. They're really yeah. you are staring, you're looking all around the screen, you're just waiting for something to move, and ninety-nine percent of the time. Time, nothing does but then when it finally does you're like ah wait really that's it that's the whole strategy of frightening me that you have i mean i kind of like the first one because like t- to some degree anyway that really hadn't been done yet i was like okay that's neat i like the whole ghost thing i get the concept of like where they're pulling this stuff from and go- ghost folklore but it's a one trick pony you can't ride it twice you really can't and this is even though it is technically better than the first one there is no going back and doing it again. Uh, the best I can give it is a low rental because, you know, <laughs> come on, guys. Just stop it. Stop it. <laughs> you're, you're, you're unbelievably cheap. It's just, you know what? Make a, make a new movie. You know, you saying that, I mean, it really just reinforces my idea of what this movie is, which it is very much a haunted house movie. And I'm talking about, you know, around Halloween when you have all these haunted houses opening, you get a bunch of your friends, you go, you know it's not real, you know it's bullshit, you know you're going to get some <laughs> that you're just going to laugh at, and, you know, your girlfriend's going to scream, and that's kind of the whole enjoyment of the whole experience and i think this film is very much just like those haunted houses where you see what's coming i mean there's no new surprises and they even got such a simple storyline to where it makes you look at your friend go oh this is what's going on because in the last movie you know i mean (laughs) the the movie the movie tonight was plagued with people like that in the theater true and they're having a great time and you know what i think i had a great time just being in that environment uh, with all these people watching this movie where I'm like, okay, yeah, this is the exact same movie. Yeah, I like it a little bit better. It's better executed. And I probably would have liked this movie a whole lot more if it had been the first film. Um, but, I mean, I'm giving it a rental. And, and, I, and, I, and I say that in a good way because I think if you do watch Friends, if you do watch it with a bunch of friends who are into this type of stuff and want just to be scared, just want to find any excuse just just to scream, <laughs> I think this is the movie. For yeah, me. I think I, you and I are on the same page yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. And, and uh, yeah, but because I, I do think I it's fun. Yeah, I do think I, it's I fun. I definitely think it was a fun movie. It didn't have me pissing and groaning at the end. Yeah. Uh, because yeah, I've seen like what the last haunted house movie I saw was uh, Haunting in Connecticut. That was and awful. That was the yeah, worst piece yeah, of yeah. shit. I mean, I mean, this is still a masterpiece compared to that. And you know something? I got to give a movie, even if it does cop out like this, and it is a uh, just a <laughs> you know movie that's going to make a suck out a lot of a pe- out of a lot of people because right. it's so cheap to make. But I, I really do have respect for movies that shy away from the CG for their horror. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm, oh, I'm, yeah, I'm so tired of that today. Well, but but this had some. It yeah, had but, some, but you know it worked effectively. For you weren't, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't like the first one where the big trick was like, "Oh, come on, that was that was so obviously CG." Here, it, what there was of it, you didn't see it. It yeah, was like, okay, it was yeah. well used. And then, and that, you know, and this is clearly a sequel for the money. I think for you know to meet the demand. I mean, if there's well, a demand out there, they're, they're going to do it. What can I tell it's you? It's not like it's, people it's, are making movies for charity. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know, I made this movie for me. You know, are you sure they weren't making it to like help out the family, the victims? Of the- <laughs> oh, that could have been that. Yeah. Paramount did say, you know, they. 
they'd like to thank everybody. That could be that, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, th- I'm looking at the directors there. I mean, the first director uh, of the, the of the first film was... Uh, Brink's I mean, security uh, system? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don's Fishing Wire and Tackle. <laughs> uh, uh, a guy named Oren Pelling. I'm looking at the name for the sequel, and it's a guy named Todd Williams. So it's not even the same. And the guy who wrote the who made, who made directed the first movie wrote the first movie. I don't think I think he re- died, right? And he, he wrote this... Okay, he did yeah. write By this... The demon? Yeah. By, yeah. <laughs> he was murdered. But before he died, he... He made this script <laughs> yeah. and sent it off, which he did I write the script for this. It'll be all about the death yeah. of the director. No, he wrote the script for the second one, so he's still involved in some kind of way, but it's a totally different director. I, you know, I, I don't know if this was CG or not. I'm not even making a joke here because I think one of the really brilliant actors in this movie was the baby. Uh, it, oh yeah, I, and I'm being dead serious. But there were points when I could see that the baby was CG. Well, I have to say that the kid. And the dog. Those were like the, the, those. Those the were the two always like the, show. The, the dog was like the, the, the other star. I was waiting for the dog to like put on his Ghostbuster outfit <laughs> and fucking like take care. Like that dog take, take 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 busted in. Yeah. Like, him, yeah, him and the Mexican maid. <laughs> yeah, they would have made awesome. Yeah, because that dog was really protected. Oh, you know? I know. Yeah. Well, you know when it's a German Shepherd, you're like, oh, that baby's gonna be fine. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that baby's gonna be but there fine. Were, there German were moments... Shepherd will not take any shit from a ghost. Oh yeah. No, I don't know what they're doing that baby, but there were moments where you know you. Make a baby cry easy, but like there were scenes when the mom was talking to the baby, and that baby was looking over that mom's shoulder, like, "What the fuck is that?" Yeah, <laughs> just well, they probably had some guy baby. with like you know some baby shit on a stand. Look at this <laughs> over here. <laughs> oh, there was a guy who really was dressed up like a ghost. His, uh, his actual mom was holding her boob out. <laughs> <laughs> or, they, or, they probably, or they probably starved that kid <laughs> like baby food. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Don't feed him yet. He has to follow the thing. <laughs> 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 